So. Okay, we've got another question that's a good answer. Uh, Karen's got a question this time for Jackie. Karen, what would you like to ask her? Hi, Jackie. Thank you for taking me today. We have a old farmhouse. Uh, kitchen hasn't been redone since 1979, as you can see by the cabinets. So I'm just wondering placement of cabinets and appliances, uh, if I should have an island or not, and also kind of, should I go white covers or should I go the darker walnut style cabinets? Mm -hmm. All really good questions. And you can see, yes, it is, it's a kitchen that definitely needs some updating. We talked briefly about budget, which is really critical whenever you're doing any kind of kitchen plan. So I'll just show you this. This is the, uh, the sink area with the window. And I always try, and I did talk to, to Karen about this earlier, because I do like to position the sink by the window because it, you're usually looking at some sort of view and it's important if you're looking at the garden or what have you but I and also moving it is costly so you always have to think about how much you're going to do it particularly in bathrooms as well when you're moving the toilet mm -hmm. but sinks as well now you don't see it in this picture but there's a stove and then directly beside it is a fridge which really just doesn't really work and I'll just show you the rest of the space as well so you can get an idea of what we're looking at so everything's very pine very dated definitely I'd be considering going with a white cabinet um, we might have a little bit of fun with the island and I'm giving you an island because I think it makes a lot of sense and it's going to be great for um, entertaining and for, for having breakfast etc and get rid of the the dining table because again that's another trend that's happening we tend to be using um, a great big island have multiple chairs and, serve, and, and places to sit for breakfast um, sometimes we can incorporate a dining area and drop it down and have a bit more of a dining table in a wood finish that could be your darker table in the espresso with the kitchen is itself all white and that can work really well to define that. So let's just start with, because everyone sort of knows that defining point that I, I, I mentioned earlier, which is the sink and the window. We've kept it there. And what we've done is we've simply, again, just continued with a run of cabinetry coming down, just have the stove, and then to the right of the stove, we have some additional counter space, which is really critical. I've moved the fridge to the other side, to the left of the sink. And there's definitely enough room. There's a window, and then there's some slider doors here. There's room for that as well as the dishwasher. So it makes it a very functional very simple but practical um, reuse of the space and then the piece de resistance of course is the island you can probably make it a little bit bigger but for the sake of today I just kept it um, just nicely contained in your workstation um, again that could be a dark color um, also instead of considering a dark wood we sometimes mix a, a nice white cabinet with a soft gray grays are really becoming very mainstream right now and you could go anywhere from a soft dove gray to a nice granite color remembering too that your floor and backsplash are all going to play into that. And lastly, what is a kitchen without a great big pantry? And you could extend this a little bit more, but again, just for the sake of today, I've just given you a nice, again, very balanced pantry, um, floor to ceiling. If you've got bulkheads, try and get those removed. Bring your cabinets right up to the ceiling um, as well with your pantry. Do a long flight of pantry, and you're going to have lots of storage, lots of shelves, pullouts. You'll be organized. You're going to have a lot of parties in this place, Karen. Ah, <laughs> I love that. There you go. That's the whole point. I thought it was hilarious that she was asking you what color to go with white or espresso. It's Jackie Glass. She's going to say white. <laughs> <laughs> but white is actually very on trend it right is. now. But you it love is. that. That's sort of your design aesthetic, definitely. right? And I'm mixing it instead of with the dark woods, I'm mixing it with the grays. Yes. So I think that's gorgeous. really pretty. So do your homework and lots of pictures. Look at what you like and then try and position it in your own kitchen for your own space. Thank you All very right. much. Okay. Break time. Lots more info to come. Stay with us.